What's up, my people? So, real quick mod for y'all today, man. We're about to do the 180 thermostat. So, uh, first thing I'm about to do is get all this coolant drained. Uh, I got uh, some fresh coolant to put in here. So, we're going to go ahead and drain everything from the bottom of the radiator. I'll show y'all that in a second. Uh, but also, I'm also going to go into uh, HP tuners to show y'all how to actually change the fan settings, just in case you've never done this before. Let's see, we got the car up. You know. Yeah, about to get to it. All right, guys, underneath the car. Uh, right, so this is what we need to loosen up right here to get uh, the coolant to flow out. Now, it should come out the drain tube. Uh, sometime it will, sometime it won't. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to just take this. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this all the way off and just let the coolant just spill out, right? And uh, all of my pans are full, so I can't catch it because it's gonna like project straight this way, straight backwards. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, yeah. So I'll just have to uh, spray my garage floor with the hose. But uh, not really a big deal considering, uh, again, this floor is going to be getting redone pretty soon and it's a mess already. So I'm just using this old oil jug to see if I can catch it, if it actually comes out of the drain tube. If not, then again, we'll just mess the floor up. You know. All right, so you got to turn this thing counterclockwise, all right? Got my daughter out here. here. She'd like to help. Uh, you may or may not be able to turn it with your hand. You may have to use some pliers. See, that's about as far as I can go uh, by hand. So I do have some pliers here. Get it nice. Okay. All right, boys, now we got action. Coming on out of there. Okay, so now this time, I'm gonna go ahead and let this drain and I'll be back with y'all in a second. All right, guys, so we got the, uh, all the coolant drained out. We're actually about to take the thermostat itself out of here right now. For this, you need a 13 mil uh, for these two bolts that uh, pull your thermostat in. Still had a little bit of coolant running in there, but that's fine. All right, let me get something to get that out of there. Oh. guys my daughter telling me a story about our field trip but this is the old thermostat uh this is the new uh mishimoto uh 180 right so when you're placing this in here this is like the little valve up top you want to make sure that thing is like facing at like the 12 o'clock position you know what i'm saying um and then you just pop that right back in there make sure that your little o-ring is on there too right so this is the old one I don't know if I can get it off of that with one hand. But yeah, it's got that O-ring around it. So you gotta make sure that that's there. That way this thing actually seals up uh, against the housing, so. Yeah. But uh, as far as the actual install, man, that's really it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hand thread these 
bolts back in here. Again, these are 13 mil. And um, yeah, I'll get this coolant uh, going in here. And then I'll show y'all um, what we need to do on HP tuners to uh, get the fans to, uh, to work. So give me a second, I'll be right back. All right guys, so um, I had something come up, so I kind of had to rush this without um, recording it. But um, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna show y'all how to change the fan setting. So this is assuming you already have HP tuners, uh, the device, as well as an unlocked PCM, because your PCM has to be unlocked in order to make any changes to, um, you know, your your, your tune or uh, what have you, uh, certain vehicle settings. So, um, obviously, if you have a Gen 1 Chrysler 300, these are unlocked. I think, um, I think they started locking them in the, the newer generation, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, I know for certain, um, my car, the 2019 that I had, was it was locked, so I had to actually send it to HP tuners to get it unlocked but anyways you'll come here to VCM tuner and this is my gaming laptop if y'all see these games up in here don't worry about it uh, but you would come to uh, VCM editor right and you see it's got all these options up here you would come to system right and then there you got a few tabs here you would click fans now I've already changed mine so the, the what you're looking for is right here your vehicle high speed mode you're gonna change that temperature right now this typically I, I forget what the uh, the factory temperatures are but it'll be like 217 or 200 and whatever whatever it may be uh, so this is the high speed vehicle mode with the AC off I'm gonna change that now I'm just using the temperatures that I had on my last car when I uh, installed the 180 thermostat so uh, I would recommend going through your tuner to see what exactly they want you to change these to because this actually isn't the exact temperatures that my tuner uh, recommended but this is what I had um, with the with the first shop that originally um, did like the supercharger install on my white 300 so uh, high speed vehicle ECT I changed that one to 190 low speed ECT changed that one to 181 now mind you this is with the AC off right so you have to change those two temperatures then you're gonna come to low speed vehicle mode the AC off change that to 190 change the low speed ECT to 181 and these temperatures here with the AC on change that to 190 low speed 181 so after you do all that I mean you can either just click X on here and it'll bring the prompts up for you or you have to come here to write vehicle right now once you do that uh, you know, essentially it'll ask you, you uh, to confirm that you want to write those changes click yes and the vehicle or uh, go through this whole sequence like you'll see your um, essentially like all your dash lights will come on it'll cycle it'll do a couple things um, and that can take a few minutes um, whenever it's finished you'll get another prompt that'll pop up to let you know that you need to cycle your ignition off and then on again and then uh, you'll be done man and that, that is literally it really really simple um, you know straight to the point so that is how not only do you install the 180 thermostat and again the way I did it draining it from the radiator that's how you do it without having to bleed the system a hundred times to try to get all the air out of it because you know you're letting all the fluid out through the bottom and then you're just filling it up from there so you know that that air doesn't really get an opportunity to get trapped somewhere when you're refilling it um, as much you know you may still have to bleed it just depends I didn't have to bleed mine at all uh, it went perfectly I probably put I don't know 150 miles on the car since I actually did 
install that thermostat so uh yeah that's the way i'd recommend doing it versus just popping the holes off and changing it right there i'd recommend just lead uh draining the entire system uh if you're gonna do it so that's that guys if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you're new here please consider subscribing notification bell all that good old jazz that way you'll be notified every time we post the upload the next video well the next install video is the 6.4 intake manifold so y'all stay tuned for that and then i'll catch y'all then you know <laughs>